So if we think about blood vessels and pushing blood through things, the simplest form of a heart is a um, tube with some muscle around it. When that contracts, you're going to reduce the lumen, which is the size of the hole running through the tube. So the volume will decrease. As the volume decreases, the pressure increases. Therefore, blood will move to where there is a lower pressure because these walls have moved inwards because you've got muscle wrapped around it. And as that's contracted, the walls have moved inwards, which means the volume's decreased, the pressure's increased. Now, if we wanted to double the efficiency of that system, we could still have our thickening of the muscle and then we could put in a valve and the valve will be here now a valve is a flap of skin which is pushed open by the flow of blood it's not something that opens and allows blood to go through it's pushed open by the flow of blood now when this contracts the volume decreases the pressure increases and the blood is pushed through the valve to the other side of the valve where the pressure is lower. As you have now a higher volume, you now have a higher pressure, so these walls are going to bulge outwards. At some point this is going to stop contracting, at which point the pressure will fall, and then blood will move back this way because the walls will recoil back and will push blood back towards that chamber, and this will push the valve closed which will prevent the blood going that way. Now, if we want to increase the, the efficiency of the system further, well, you need to have some muscle here, some muscle here, a valve, and then another valve. So what's going to happen now is that as this wall contracts, the volume decreases, the pressure increases, Blood will be pushed this way, which will push this valve closed. And it will be pushed this way. And when the pressure in this chamber exceeds the pressure here, then blood will push open the valve and go in, which will cause the walls to bulge outwards, like so. Yeah? Yeah. Now, that bulging out of the walls will mean that the pressure increase has pre increased here, but when this chamber then con stops contracting and starts to relax, well, blood will move back in and it will move in this direction, which will push this valve closed. Now, this system which we've just talked through, if we replace it with the words atrium, ventricle, and aorta, this is the principle that you have in the um, left ventricle. You also have the same system in the right ventricle and right hand side of the heart because you have a tube coming in, not a good colour, so you have a tube coming in and then this goes into a chamber, and the first chamber is called the atrium. And then you have a valve, and that valve, when it contracts, it pushes blood through, well actually it's open anyway, and it goes into the next chamber, so blood is pushed through from here to here and then when the ventricle contracts it's pushed out of here. So here the blood is going round here and out again. So this is atria and then ventricle and then um, and this side is the right hand side so this is the uh, pulmonary artery. And then it's going to go around the, um, around the lungs, and then it's going to come back in on the opposite side, make it a bit bigger, um, and it's going to come in through the pulmonary vein, and it's going to go into the left atrium, 
and then that's going to get pushed through a valve and that's going to go into the left ventricle and then that when this contracts it's going to push it through a valve and that's going to push it out into the aorta and then the aorta aortic walls are going to bulge out with it. Now these valves here, these two here, are called the atrioventricular valves. Now that makes sense um, because they are between the atrium and the ventricle. These two here, I would call these the pulmonary and the aortic valves. Avoid any semilunar or bicuspid and tricuspid stuff. Just go for aortic valve and pulmonary valve because it tells you where they are and what they do. Now remember the principles that underpin this. When the volume decreases, the pressure increases. Blood moves to where there is a lower pressure. As it moves, it will either push valves open or push valves closed, depending on which way the valves are. And that's the, you know, the whole principles of the blood flow.